I'm going to talk to you now about three really great tips that you can use to make Photoshop perform better. Uh, one of our students had noticed that if he quit Photoshop, um, problems that were happening in Photoshop automatically were fixed. So that's a really great idea. So if Photoshop's not working properly, just go ahead and go ahead and quit, you know, and then restart it. And hopefully it will be working properly after you do that. Now, if that doesn't happen, if you restart it and Photoshop is still having problems, computer, so you can go ahead and just, you know, you know, shut down or restart, that kind of thing. That can fix a lot of problems with Photoshop as well. Now, another thing you can do is um, make sure that you are not that your computer is not too full. So what do I mean by that? Well, if I go into my Finder on a Mac and you go into Windows on a PC and you look at your hard drive and on a Mac, I can just go right here to my Macintosh hard drive and hit Command I. And that will show me how much of my space is used in my actual hard drive. And as you can see, the capacity of my hard, internal hard drive in my computer is about 500 gigabytes. And I've used about 390 gigabytes, which is a little more than 78%, which is a little high. I actually should be purging some of um, the things that I have stored, such as photos and things like that. Um, you never want to be above about 75 to 80% um, full um, with your internal hard drive. That will cause all of your apps, not just your Photoshop app, but all of your apps to slow down. Um, and if you get really close to capacity, your computer just won't work. So make sure that you um, have cleared out your computer as well as possible. Um, I actually bought a, uh, a good um, app, which works really well for my computer. Um, and let me show you that app. Now this is I, I, you know, you might, if you have a PC, you might want to look into something that works well for a PC. Um, but this one here is called Clean My Mac 10, and it really helped me figure out what was clogging up my Mac and what things I could easily purge safely without damaging my system. Now, remember, if you're ever going to clean out your Mac, make sure you back things up by putting them on an external hard drive or in a cloud storage system or something like that. Never just um, throw things away without knowing what they are. But you really wanna make sure that you're no higher than about 75 to 80% capacity when you're working with Photoshop or any other program really. Now, the other thing you can do is if you wanna start Photoshop, but you wanna make sure that you've cleared out any weird things that could be causing Photoshop not to work well, you do what's called trash Photoshop preferences. Now, trashing Photoshop preferences will reset Photoshop to any default. So anything you might've accidentally done or if Photoshop somehow corrupted itself, it's always a great idea to trash your Photoshop preferences. And on a PC, you hold down Alt, Control and Shift while you're starting Photoshop. So you wanna hold those down before you click on the Photoshop icon. And on the Mac, you're gonna hold down Command Option Shift while you're starting Photoshop. So I'm gonna demonstrate that for you right now. Hopefully it's not gonna uh, mess up anything I set up, but it shouldn't because I this is a brand new version of Photoshop which should be at its default settings. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down, since I'm on a Mac, Command, Option, Shift, as you can see, as I'm doing, you can see that down here. And I'm gonna click on Photoshop. Delete the Adobe Photoshop settings file and I can choose yes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now what that might do, in fact, I know what that's gonna do. That's actually gonna forget what I was last working on. But that's okay because I can find it. So I'll go ahead and find it and start working again. And um, now that trashing my preferences will probably have fixed a lot of issues. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.
and I will see you again very shortly.